subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I want to thank each and every one of you for getting me to this point of hitting 20,000 subscribers. It was all you guys, all you guys that already hit that subscribe button, and all of you that's about to hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you too. Appreciate it for everything. That's why I want to keep giving out this good knowledge so I get more subscribers, you know what I'm saying? So I can bring wealth to more people because that's what I'm about, you feel me? Dispatching got me out that nine to five, got me out the rat race. And in doing that, it made me realize a higher purpose that you can have success in any area of life that you want, in any business that you want. You, your cash flow can be unlimited. You know what I'm saying? Your cash flow is not limited. Thinking and limitations, it's a lie. Your cash flow is not limited. A lot of people talk about it's cash king. It's credit king. Some people say cash is king. Some people say credit is king. I'm going to tell you what's more important than any of that. Mindset. Mindset is God. Mindset is God. Your credit can go up and down. Your cash can go up and down. But if you use your mindset in the right way, it'll never go down. It'll go up exponentially if you use it the right way. So if you're not where you want to be, if you're not performing in business and life in any area, and as a father, whatever it is, if you're not performing like you want to perform in any area of your life, it's just because you haven't found the right mindset. It's just because you haven't organized the right mindset. You already have the right mindset because you have everything you need within you. So any success I had in life, anytime I accomplished something big, anytime I made a major business move, anytime I got a lot of cash, it was all about my mindset. When I came to the awareness of a different mindset. So that's what I help people to do in business. It doesn't matter if you're on your nine to five and you're just looking to leave your nine to five and make thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year outside of your nine to five. You just have to change your mindset. It's all about your mindset. You wanna become a millionaire, a billionaire. It's all about your mindset. Everything is always gonna be mindset. So society tries to fool you and tell you it's all these things outside of you. Trying to tell you it's other people. Always, always casting the blame on the next person. That's what's gonna make it very hard for a lot of people to achieve success. As long as you cast the blame on somebody else, on something else outside of your very own mindset, it's gonna be very hard for you to even start a business, let alone leave your nine to five. But you can do it, it can be done. But check it out. If you guys are interested in freight dispatch training, make sure you visit my website. I got a 20% off sale going right now for hitting 20,000 subscribers. You feel me? Dispatch training, cryptocurrency training, Airbnb training. These are all cash flow patterns that I'm involved in. These are all cash flows I've created for myself. And how I did this, freight dispatching got me out my nine to five. But before that, I was working my nine to five and freight dispatching was just a side hustle for me. I was doing both at the same time, you feel me? But this is why it's important to work on your side hustle, to really put in the work. When I say put in the work, you gotta put in the work. How else are you gonna achieve your goals if you don't put in the work? So check it out. I put in the work in my side hustle. Putting in that work allowed me to leave my nine to five, which allowed me to make more money quicker with doing less work than you know driving to work, being at work eight hours, dealing with the bullshit at work, driving home it's just too much it's too much and like they say if you want to become wealthy you have to learn how to make money in your sleep so my side hustle allowed me to leave my nine to five i first started working as a dispatcher by myself but i knew i had to make money in my sleep so i decided to hire other dispatchers yeah so the only thing i needed to do is have enough clients to leave my nine to five so that's why I recommend to you guys to really put in work if you're working on a side hustle because that side hustle has to allow you to leave your nine to five job. That way you can build a business which brings you passive income. So I knew I had to hire dispatchers to have them work for me so I could make money in my sleep. But more so I knew by hiring dispatchers, they would make money. So I was giving someone um, a job, employment. So in doing that, something I created 
is now starting to benefit other people and it benefits me more because it allows me to make money in my sleep where I don't have to be the one dispatching all the time. And hold on, when they say make money in your sleep, don't think it always means to make money while you're sleeping. It just means not to have to work for your money, okay? So, because if you start to believe that, you're not gonna become wealthy. Because what you wanna do is be able to get yourself to a point where you don't have to work for your money so you can build a business, not have to work for your money by hiring other people, and then start building the next business and keep creating that pattern over and over and over. That's the only way to get wealthy. Anything else, any of these get rich quick type schemes, that ain't gonna work. This is the way to get wealthy and the only way. Yeah, you can hit the lottery, you can get a bunch of money at or whatever, but to me, that, that's not wealthy. That's not wealthy because the amount of money doesn't make you wealthy. You can have a hundred thousand, you can have twenty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, or a million dollars. Any of that can be wealthy. What wealthy truly is, is being financially free, not having to worry about the next check. What wealthy is, wealthy is, is being able to go years without even thinking about money. Wealthy isn't big houses, million billion dollar houses, fancy cars, designer clothes. That's not wealthy. The only thing that does is takes wealth from you. Unless you put the nice house on Airbnb and be able to make a profit from the million dollar house. You get, you see where I'm going? So that's why they say wealthy people put their money in the assets that make them more money and then they spend money on liabilities. But broke, poor, or middle class people, what they do is they go out and work for a paycheck, make the paycheck, and then spend it on liabilities. You're gonna stay broke, poor, or middle class all your life. All your life. If you do that, if you use that business plan, that's, that's a business plan. Whether you know it or not, working your job working your nine to five and not being able to make passive income and then going out and taking that money that you actually had to be there to make and spending it on liabilities, that's a business plan. And it's a business plan that fails. So that's why I recommend you guys to learn to become an entrepreneur. Learn to have multiple streams of income. Here in the future, I'm gonna be talking more about Airbnb, more about cryptocurrency, like I said, this is exactly how I build my wealth. So I recommend if you want to learn to do the same thing, just go visit my website, AntoineWest.biz.